Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Radio Battle Campaign. We pick things up for episode 15 from turn 88 in the winter season of 207. So of course, our dear leader Liu Bao has passed away to old age and Sun Tzu is taking over. Uh, but this is still a Liu Bao campaign. We still have his faction mechanics and uh, as we talk about that, we are about to hit peak governance. We need 29 points and we have 31 points of gain this turn. So we no longer technically need more governance. Uh, we'll be maxed out with a domain limit of 32, 25 points of satisfaction faction-wide, 25% diplomatic income from tributaries, and 5% replenishment. So plenty of good news coming our way. And uh, aside from that good news, we are looking to annex Cao Cao's faction. We are really only waiting on Guo Jia being included in any of their armies. It's not happening so far, but we can keep trying. And the only way we have is to use this spy here. Now in terms of his spy defense, I know it's plus 10 plus 2. So we just got to work around that. Uh, we have enough points to do a discredit character. And we're looking to get someone else in the armies fired so that we have a chance to push for Guo Jia to join us on the outside. If it doesn't work out, I think we might be willing to just um, go for it, as in abandon Guo Jia for now, pick up these three in particular, Cao Pi, Cao Cao, and Xun Yu, just so that we can start the clock on the cooldown between annexes so that we can get Liu Bei eventually as well, because right now it's starting to weigh on us quite a bit. I think this turn we do this, just to build up some more points for the um, undercover network. So that we can have more options in a few turns. And aside from that, there's not much we can do. We have an unhappiness. Uh, Naomi is sad. She's going to get her own faction. Our burn officer should get summoned out, to be honest. But we're also kind of constrained in army limits. So Liu Min should come out here. I can give him a orator position just to keep him happy for now. We're not going to alter any of these. Maybe this, but then again, I don't really need to uh, because in the long run, um, the vassal will deal with it herself. Someone has to leave the position for a turn. Temple can handle it, although we would lose quite a bit of income. Temple is back in Boya, I believe. Yes. Well, it's only one turn. Someone has to do it, so Temple will be dismissed. She is currently in the army. I believe she's out west. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have them fight the battle first. Alright, that works for us. We'll simply delegate this one. I don't mind her taking the retinue with her. That is totally fine with me. All right. So we given her away. He's away. He's been away. And when these future children of Liu Bao comes of age, we'll also give them away. We'll marry them off first, but then give them away to clear the way for Sun Tzu to remain in power. 
All right, we need the replacement strategist here. And even though no one really works well with them, I think Cheng Gong might just get the job. Alright, that works. So we'll build this up when we get a chance. Military crackdown will die down. Okay, so all our armies have moved because we ended the last episode with the battle out here in um, Jingdu. This army is rotating over here, and this army is rotating down over here. Regional city. Alright, I guess we will invest in Badong then. We now have over a million population. Not that we need governance, but this is overall a very strong building. Three thousand nine hundred. All right, we'll pop that in, and that's pretty much all the money. Although I think we can rush this, but there's nothing else to build after that. Wait, how can we afford this? We can't. This must be a mistake. Anyways, oh, got a tycoon. Not a bad item on a leader. It's more authority and also more trade influence. Heavenly Flight's also really good. We just don't have a Jade Archer. But this will do. Uh, we'll remember to pick up this uh, representationist next turn. Alright, I think that's it. I think we can take a look at diplomacy real quick. Alright, we're good to go. And Yan Bai Hu right away does not want to fight us anymore. I want his Xingdu, so he can't give me the capital, so there's nothing he can really do to convince me to not fight him, so remain a war here. Okay, new turn. Uh, pretty much nothing happened. We discovered an enemy ambush. A very sad ambush with very good items. Okay, we'll give up the mustering bonus just to chase them. We also want to fight Gongdu. He has Hua Tuo's manual, which is just insanely rare for item. Oh my god, book of documents as well? Yellow Turban got all the goodies. Alright, we'll try to get them. Has no issues to report. Or that's not happening. Abort that one. Temple building, administrative settlement, tax collection, raise a force. Move any character to Changsha. Okay. So they will keep pushing over here. We'll pick up a reform first. We've been going down the agricultural tree and we'll remain that route. Uh, we'll go for level 5 garment support. Though this variation is not the very good one. And then level 4 T. This is the good one. So let's go this way. Hmm. I wonder if they're at war. All these single general armies. Alright, they still have this really good one. They didn't summon any new ones. Alright, during the end turn we should have him lead for the movement. Wait for points. Nothing else we can do here.
All right, we're gonna throw all the money into investing for our single commander that's not full build. It's gonna get full build very, very fast. All right, we're good. One building at a time. Bound to get there. Tall, tall, any new recruitments? Oh my god. She recruited two generals, but not what's that? So he has four armies. I have three limit spots. I can ease one out pretty easily. I want to just try one more time. Try to get one character to leave uh, next turn. See if we can change anything after that. And then we're just going to annex. Alright. Um, that's a quick turn. I could do something like... Taurus Sun Quan. Raise a force and move into a commandery. Temple building, we could also first upgrade this for the tax collection, then demolish this whole thing and then build the temple in its place. That'd be a good easy way. Oh, temple needs to come right back. Now we're good. All right, let's continue. Okay, joint war against Gong Sun Zan. I'm gonna vote no with Kong Rong here. All right, Gong Sun Zan declares war on Zhang Yan. Let the two of them fight in the north. Only oh, 65, still alive. He's not actually here. He's not actually here. Sun Yu. I wonder if he's the brother. But I doubt it. A lot of them are actually not here. And the ones that are here have no item. So let's start with spy action actually. This is what I'm most curious about. He recruited so many new ones but not Guo Jia. It's not willing. That wouldn't do anything. Then I guess the option is we extract him. And then we just annex afterwards. Because we're, we're out of options here, basically. We can't touch any of the other ones in court. I can't really touch... Yeah, that's not possible. So we just ask him to leave. He opens up a spot in the army. And then we can probably recruit another one if we want to really try. Clay cup, kind of pointless, but that reminds me... That reminds me we have the representation, this item here. And that in the future her army setup might include Azor Dragons. Okay. He ambush again? I think so. He disappeared on us. Well, we're gonna just go to the edge. I don't think he has reach. I don't think he has reach. Oh, he does. But then we need replenish right now, so he has the extra one here. And we'll hide. Oh, another burn officer. Alright, we should just summon him. Alright, but army limit. Mm. He makes for a really good administrator too. I'm gonna give him something silly like this, because I know he's gonna probably need it in the future. Wow. Good units, but we're going to give him better ones. All right. I think we maybe delay the annexation for at most two more turns, and then we just go for it. Casualty's fine. This army's done. We don't need to do anything with this army anymore. 
Got 500 afterward, and now we can peace out with the Empire Hu. Oh, 29 points. He's actually willing. I don't need the governance point. I could use him for income purposes, but then I have to pay him. Right now, he can just pay me, which. Oh, he can't only pay max of 200. Can you believe this? Wow, he is dirt poor. He like can give me all his wealth and barely covers the income here or the, the diplomatic points. Everyone likes this. Perfect. Okay, now I'm hoping for the old turban to wipe him out. No rush. Stepbrother has a present for you. And some money, courteous of the bandits. And judging by the flag, it turns out to be Xindu, even though I'm pretty sure Xindu was here too. Hmm. Interesting. This is going to be income heavy too. Not necessarily just go pure food here. I ran out of money. That's natural. Alright, rebellion soon. He's missing a general, but he's not on own soil, so we can't recruit here. I guess we just take these two. I think so. I think we're not going to get Guozia. Even if he leaves, it doesn't make a difference. So I think we can just stop waiting. We tried. So in order to absorb all four armies, oh, we actually have four. What change? Oh, the extra administrator. Right. We just double check. One, two, three, four, and nowhere else. Alright, every vassal is going to be alert that this happens, but hopefully we can maintain those relationships after the fact, because we're taking him in. Yes, we just worked out of our previous 20 points. We're going to be untrustworthy again. Hanshu We got extra trade agreements. Only a maybe with Liu Bei now. Hmm. Well, being Duke is great because now we have Prime Minister. Another faction wide bonus. I might entertain putting Cao Cao in that position because his faction wide bonus is ooh and he oh no grudge against us fondness because of the release right um we can get redeployment cost discount 50% of it so all units will be free because Zhongjiang has this on flexibility and Sun Tzu has this on flexibility 
we get cheaper cavalry recruitment and the two spies, which I'm kind of interested in. Yeah, and then we can let him keep his item set too. Okay, I think I like that idea. That's also being our prime minister. We could heavily invest in spies in his faction to push Zhao Yun out. Oh my god, Zhao Yun is available. 28 points. Plus 12. Okay, that's pretty intense. That means we can't do this this turn. Zhao Yun's a 28. Give me another spy, just in case. I don't have money? All right, we spent everything. Okay, that's fine. We have to adjust for a lot of things too. Um, all these generals we picked up, a lot of these are trash. We have to take a look at these. Ooh, we got a poison volley general. Never mind, not trash. I'm so sorry. So, poison volley general. Get rid of the retinue for sure. This is Cao Cao's daughter. Let me throw Cao Cao in here first. I'm pretty sure he's the best choice. Like, there are some nice generals that can also do stuff. We're getting mainly redeployment cost discount and cavalry recruiting discount. And then these four skills. I don't think there's anything from his traits to public order. But that's it. A lot of authority. Like, a ton of authority. Like, his son will be great for corruption, but we don't actually need corruption reduction. Like, this is a good one, too. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Hall's Hall. Okay. That's done. I think she is not the actual daughter, looking at the age. I'm gonna just fire her. She can keep the retinue. Modest is great. Ugh, everything else is terrible. Take the fan. So we'll fire both of these. Wei Dan, Cao Rei Shang. Fire her too. Fire her as well. Fire her as well. She even has a... Oh, not against us. Toppy's welcome to stay. Although, I don't want you to have any of those units. You're fired. You also don't need any of these items. <gasps> Axe bonus. We've been waiting for this armor set. We get plus 10 points of... So, I'm gonna give him the axe, actually. In the future, he will be in our, you know, Prime Minister Court once we get our Imperial um, Court set up. First Emperor Seat. So then he can use those combos together. So he can hold on to that. 
Fire him, not giving anyone these two units. Cao Cao's army. I'll let you keep your signature Heavy Tiger and Leopard. All these trash units will go away. And we'll probably redeploy you a bit later. Ah, uh, Xun Yu. We'll give this up. This up. Another burn officer. We can form it like a, a actual or format actual burn officer corp. We have four burn officers now, I think. Another modest general. It's a bandit. Hmm. I can send her in to spy. She gains more cover. Maybe that's what we'll use her for. Since now we have four spy positions. Oh, why can't I send her? She's not on this list. Oh, she's right here. Oh, because she's on the field. I will send her. She has a use. Everyone else get fired. I think. Wei Dan. Already strong. Lao. Tian. Fan. You come back. You. Okay. That's a lot of people, but let's see if we can remember all of them. They should all be on the bottom. And they should all have the general symbol on them. At least from service. She's married to Zhang Chao. Huh. And then we also have the spy come back to us. Who I don't need either. And then Yu Ying as well. Also gonna get fired. LP, are you single? I don't have money right now, but once I do, I'll give you the historical marriage. All right. Free administrator. That's going to be land giving away first. Who's leaving us? I think it's time to say goodbye to Lady Tai. Now, I know she's from the Jin province, but we've already given the Jin province away. So, the best thing we can do is Shouchun, which is a great piece of land. Take the trade agreement. Wait, where's the... Oh, she got everything, but I want to give her more land. So I give her... I give her Guangling. Maybe not the city first. City's worth too much. You're wasting points. There we go. And a little bit of cash. Thank 
Maybe the stone pig? He's an underdog mentality. Very willing to be a vassal of a strong faction. That's not bad. Oh, we're out of money. Um, we can do per turn. I don't know. We can do per turn payments. It's overkill. Okay. All right, so we gave those away. I'm still keeping this to flex that. Chen, technically I should give it to one of the tall clan members, but we don't have one with us that we can give away. Guanyuang, I can switch. I can give it to her to manage for tall P. Once Talpi decides to um, get married to her next turn. Tao Ying's land. I need to find some way to butter up Liu Bei. Seems very difficult right now. I don't have any borders with him. We still have an ongoing deal, so it's not like anything bad will happen. Okay, I think relationship-wise, we're still okay. Liu Bei has started to invade over here. Which maybe will make him recruit more generals, who knows. We didn't get the Zhuge Dan pop-up, so I don't know if Zhuge Dan even appeared in this game yet. He has until turn... 100, I want to say? And plus, we're on cooldown now, so we can't do anything about that. Now we're out of cash. I need to find someone to take over Chen, but I don't know who. I guess Gu Niwan next turn. Yeah, and then we can let her have Peng Cheng as well. Yeah, sure, that works. Hmm, we could butter Huang Zhu up too. He's a little bit sad with us. You know we're never going to annex you, right? I don't want to give away Lu Jiang just yet. Honestly, I don't want to give away Peng Cheng either. I need to land over here to spy on the enemy and get prepared. Uh, we can downgrade this a little bit. City build is fine. We'll demolish that. We'll demolish that. We'll downgrade one. I'm thinking maybe forge and conscription. I think that would work. Alright, we got two open assignments. We kept you for this. Uh, we're missing a commerce boost. Actually, that could work. Right, I think that's the best we can do in terms of setup. Try to click on the item one. Ah! I ruined it. Alright, never mind. Let's just continue. Okay. I guess I can give this away now, because we will keep one over there. K 
kind of want to fight him. We have honorable, so that makes capturing a little bit more difficult. And we didn't get any shaman items, which is a bit of a shame. But we should go for it. He's on march as well. Oh, oh, but we can't let him lead. Right, this will work. Feel important. We're empowering you now. Take 15 points of cunning. Ah, uh, sorry. You have to return that to the original owner now. I'll find you something. Take this. This is actually a strong item. Actually, I'm worried about the speed loss for kiting. Hmm, nothing's really good on him. We'll take these two stats. Alright, we'll get this fight right away, but first I want to take care of a couple of things like Steel Draw Yun. Come on! Okay, so I thought that was going to happen. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to recruit a bunch of spies from Gong Sun Zan's court. Or two in this case. I thought it was going to be three. And then we're going to have them team up and do Discredit Faction. Because that will stack from each individual one. Okay, so he's willing. Joins at 18. She needs more points. A lot more points, actually. I have to do this first. And then this needs to be a 62. That's three more turns. Ouch. I'm gonna send her out. Maybe to Dong Zhuo's faction. Take a look at Lu Bu's situation. Or Liu Bei's faction to take a look at his uh, Zhuge Liang situation. Actually, that's probably what we want to do. These we rather don't care about. We'll keep one open. In case Zhao Yun decides to join us at 18. It's entirely possible. Okay, so we spend the money there first. Let's also do the Ministry of Stuff before we forget, and then we'll end with a big battle. Marriage first, right. We want to get them married so that we can see their kids in the future if we do somehow adopt Tall Pete. Or history. Now that we have someone to tie you down in our faction, this is not how game mechanic works. This is just how it's going to work in my head. Guanyuan's going to be able to be leaving us, assuming she's carrying no items right now. I'm not sure about that, so. Got double check. Yep, she's clean. And we release her. Here's my promise to you. I don't even want anything back. We're going to build this into a food and military outpost. Maybe... Hmm... This doesn't actually do much to ever make it defensive. Which is not what we need, really. 
I'd rather just take the forge item and then recruitment cost discount. I think we'll do that here. We'll pop that down. We are missing a bunch of reforms, so... There we go. All the money in the right places. And then we can trade away Lu Jiang. Just to make them like us. It's making us more money than the trade value, but... Surprising he actually has a weapon. Oh, I thought he was going to pay us more. Can we get there? No. Okay, we'll pick that up next turn. This army has nothing to do now. These are all vassals. I think Yuan Shu is our next target. So we're going to come over here. To... Here. Yeah, they can take their time. This brings us back to this army here. We're going to declare war on Hongdu. We are... They're trading with Liu Bei. What? Alright, for those items. Patience. Best shot we have. Two gold items. Two gold accessories. And two silver items too. Not showing us any capture rate. Because it thinks we'll... It, no, we win this. Why is it showing us? Oh, crushing defeat on Delegate. That's why it's not showing them. Alright, we're going to fight way better than Pyrrhic. Hopefully. I don't see why we're so... Disadvantaged. Okay, let's just try it. Alrighty. So maybe the rain is why we're disadvantaged. Um... Yeah, ideally it shouldn't rain for us, but um, we can still make this work. I mean, they have fire arrows too, so it's not the end of the world for us. We have to pound them pretty hard with these. I still prefer these for the explosion damage and also the visibility of uh, manually aiming them. Archers will probably just be in regular arrows for this one. Now, we have a few interesting formations we can utilize. Hmm. We'll probably use two as fl uh, flanks. Straight center and like kind of middle. A little bit forward to create that, you know, gap where these guys can flush it out here. Activate both and they'll fire. They don't have too much ammo. We definitely should throw in some of the burn officers with this army comp to walk together once we have the army's uh, positions available. We, we should have a few now. Yeah, this should be fine. And then all the cavalry obviously would hide, like, here. Hide. Hide! There we go. And the generals will be right here. Hmm, perfect. I don't think we should duel. We have much better abilities. Even if it's forest, we'll protect it. No, no, no. This way, and then also formation. 
That way the back lines are, you know, firing arrows. Oh wait. It's doing something that I don't want it to do. Yeah, that's the correct setup. I should be manually firing, but we gotta set up the line first. Fire that group, not not that cavalry unit. We have a very easy way of wiping out that cavalry unit. So aside from some horseback huntsmen, they don't have any real cavalry. Okay. That makes things a lot easier. How are we disadvantaging this one again? No one has Unbreakable either. So our strategy with the general really should just be wipe out the units, let the morale take over, and then we can do some morale damage. Why they're lining up first before they're charging us? What's the idea here? I know we have level 1 trebuchets, but you gotta respect that. Alright, now they're charging. It's like they know where we aimed, right? See that little circle here? Too bad we're not that accurate. Right, now that they're in this tree, I want to hit that tree here. You know, we don't need the formation. Nothing's really gonna charge us. Gonna do the health arrow. The cavalry shouldn't chase us because it's, or at least they shouldn't chase us and melee attack us. They can fire some. Wait, they threw traps on the ground. That's what they did. Good. I thought they threw arrows at me. Like they can't do that. This is legendary difficulty. Oh, traps on the ground, traps on the ground. It's okay. Better us than the units in the front. Come on, hurry up, fire. I'm gonna go in there and roar. Warning shot. One of the generals. And then we'll also roar the back line. And then get out. Use that as escape. Don't actually charge. Get back in. Oh, 
both of you don't charge out. What part of don't charge out to use your bow do you not understand? Charge! All right, he's unbreakable. Don't do that. No, he's also unbreakable. This one. All right, no one's flanking us. Come out, join the fun. Cooldown's over. Just shoot at some of you, yeah. Alright, now we reverse charge him. Watch his health bar depletes. But we're trying not to kill them. We want a couple chances at this capture. I don't really want to run into where all our archers are shooting at. Ooh, that's smash. Okay, but well that's it. Stop firing. Stop firing. We lost a few cavalry. We'll get some red reforms, get better cavalry. Cataphract would be a good option. Because our faction doesn't have any unique cavalry to use. Can we do this before the generals bounce back? Alright, too slow. You guys go do this. Good luck. The shield is doing really well. Blocks so many arrows. Alright, we add some fire now for effects. Finally. Alright, let's see if we get any captures. Alrighty. Moment of truth. Drop the item for us. Let us capture them. Works for me either way. Decisive victory. Come on. Book of documents? We're an officer that we can't use, so that's execute. So they dropped one of them. That's good. We have a chance for the other one later. Uh, we'll take money. We didn't lose too many units. There's a bit of cavalry usage there. We're going to let them rest for a turn or else this army will be wiped. Not that they'll die, but then we don't get to chase it you know, continuously. I don't want it to go too far, so I think we'll just use the backspace trick. Just have them captured in the zone so they can't really run away. If they want to attack us, we'll retreat and so forth. All right, so that's set up. And in case you guys are wondering, Book of Documents gives us plus six public order, uh, 10 points of satisfaction. Ancient Sight, um, I'm trying to use. So, Confucian Sage, plus 10 faction, wide satisfaction. Oh, okay. 
That is interesting. He has a Confusion Sage, but they didn't combine it. So they didn't put Confusion Sage with the Book of Documents. They gave the Book of Documents to Zhang Kai. Or Zhang Kai. And then Gongdu has Hua Tuo's manual, which we also really, really want. Okay, so we'll work on that soon. Um, I don't think anything has changed. I don't think Satisfaction get refreshed until the next turn. That part's done. Army movement's all done. We have a little bit of money, but not a lot. Yeah, not enough to rush anything. We can pick our own administrator this time. Because we've given away all the land that we have. Oh, wait. Tao had this? Hmm. Donghai. You know what? I'm going to use it to butter up Tao Ying. Not that we're not going to declare war on them later, but... I don't know. He is a vassal to someone? No, he's not. Is he? And why is there no option for us to vassalize him? I guess we can't throw an offer on the table. No, there's just no option. That is a little weird. I know there's a cooldown for us annexing, but there shouldn't be a cooldown for vassalization. Alright, so at this point, they all still at war with us. Our armies are marching down. Liu also has this piece. I think we're going to wipe out Liu completely. We're going to wipe this out, then march through here, wipe this out, give this to uh, Wang Lang, give this to our sister. And then we'll leave Yan Bai Hu in a war with them. Hopefully Yellow Turbans win. There's also a lot of good items that they can spawn from generals, so hopefully we'll see those and then attack them. That's going to be the plan there. Yeah, I guess we just can't vassalize. I guess there's a cooldown for that. Hmm. Didn't know that. Unless there's a max vassal limit. Because we do have a ton of vassals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might. Yeah. We can't. Oh, we still can't grant independence. That's not it. There's no limit like that. All right, we're going to find our own administrator. Not going to delay that any longer. We have it everywhere except for Badon. So, Luo Jun will be a great choice, honestly. Industry, peasantry, all income, food, he has it all. Uh, construction cost is not super relevant here. This is another burn officer, so same thing as Luo Jun pretty much. But Luo Jun is more special to us, so he's going to get this position. We should set his items up. Okay, lots of resolve, that's good. Lots of resolve. Food production might be better for peasantry income, actually. I know you're keeping it for Prince Liu Chong, but... You know what, you can keep it for Prince Liu Chong. We'll get this next for 20% extra peasantry. And then we're pretty much good. I don't care about the reserve. We'll probably get something more useful for combat. You'll probably come onto the field. I don't have the one for peasantry in terms of administrative um, titles. Wait, where are they? Wait, no one's using these. Huh. He's using General of the Right, which is, which makes sense. So I guess you should be using this. 
And whoever is in charge of Changsha should definitely be using this. We don't have a Jade Sculptor, do we? No, we don't. That's the only item that gives commerce. Okay, I guess that's fine. This is not the greatest, but I don't think this would help too much here in uh, Changsha anyway, so that's fine and dandy. All right, they're all set up. All the spying has been put in place. We got the item that we were looking for. Let's just end turn here. Oh, Holy Wan's getting attacked by the lions of the hush wind. And Shaw. Yeah, we'll go to war for you. Who hates this? Well, none of our vassals will hate this, so this is a good deal. Yes, we'll defend all our vassals. Oh, Gong Sun Zan's spies returning. Oh no. Yeah, we're in a lot of wars. <laughs> There's a lot of good news. Um, well, let's see. Maybe the armor will be gold. Nope. Liu Bei's army took this during the end turn and then got destroyed, which means one of their army stack is gone. So maybe they'll summon new ones. That's what I mean. We're still trying to infiltrate Liu Bei, so we can't see his characters. We're trying to save enough points to do the discredit faction. Bounce back to 28. Hmm. Yeah, no help, but we'll try to work on that. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on Liu Bei's situation. I know we can't annex him anytime soon. He's trapped in our circle. We'll keep trying to farm the Huatua manual. He has the Black Dragon as well. Sweet. So we took his uh, book last turn. He put the new item on. We'll try to take both this turn. They're stashing all the gold items. We'll try to get rid of them. Oh, well, not get rid of them, but we'll take them. Yeah, this is the one we want. So it's better if that one doesn't get wiped, which it didn't. Uh, Ribu is here. So, new plan is Sun Tzu will go reinforce our vassals in the north. Uh, we have a land here, obviously. He might take that this turn. Does he have Siege Weapon? He does not. Okay. But we can't run up there that fast. So if we take it, we have to retake it. That's totally fine. Um, but yeah, that's where things stand. This has nothing to do with us. It's her territory now. We'll wipe out Liu Yao. She's on the run. Yeah, so that's going to be the goal next time. Clean up the south, go to that war in the north. We are pretty busy out west as well. Wu Tu Gu, Lady Zhu Rong, and Gong Du. That's a lot of enemies. And Dong Zhuo is also close by as well. So a lot of things to do as we have a new leader. And Cao Cao is our prime minister. Can you believe that? All we're missing is Liu Bei. And then we have all three kingdoms united under one banner. So for that goal, we'll keep pushing forward. And until next time, bye!